Hey guys, it's Marl. I am back. Sorry, I'm a mom. Sometimes I gotta check to make sure that I took care of everything, you know what I mean? I am back, hopefully to record videos for a semi-long time. Um, just a little bit of an update if you guys are watching my channel a little bit more often. Um, I know I didn't get a chance to do too many videos when I first started because we were moving, we bought a house, Hunter was newborn, so now hopefully I have a little bit more time. Hunter is now 10 months. He is sleeping a lot better. Hopefully that gives me a little bit more time to do some work. And the big news is I am brewing baby number two. So that was a little bit of a Christmas surprise. Um, we are having another baby boy, name still undetermined, but um, I am currently almost 21 weeks and due in September. So I don't know, hopefully I get some time to do some videos in before I have to manage two babies. And uh, this is the hair out of the shower, so. Don't mind me. I was like, when you're kidnapped, this is the only chance you get to record. So, here we go. Uh, today, I wanted to do a really quick video on the difference um, for new moms between the price of breastfeeding, bottle feeding, um, and formula feeding. Now, when I say bottle feeding and formula feeding, I mean between pumping and formula feeding and breastfeeding. So. Let me just get my page ready and we will get started. I had to take notes, it's just way too much. So, um, the way I did this breakdown is, one, I live in Canada, so um, the prices are a little bit different here than in the States or in the UK or wherever you're watching from, but they're a little bit different here. Uh, I'm gonna base it on from what I remember purchasing them for because if I had to go and search all of this. I wouldn't record until next month. So here we go. First, we're going to start with a breakdown and maybe I can like move over and kind of put like a breakdown for you guys here. Let's start with breastfeeding. The cost associated with breastfeeding. Now you can go about this and spend absolutely nothing. Um, and that is totally fine. I mean, there are tons of people in the world who can't afford anything to support their breastfeeding um, their babies but if you are somebody who does want a couple extra tools or things like that to help with um, breastfeeding then here are kind of the cost breakdowns and what you'll need so the first thing and this was a huge lifesaver for me was the nipple cream and that nipple cream is it came in the diaper bag with me or the hospital bag with me I put it on literally right before Hunter came out and the nurse was like, you're awfully prepared already putting on your nipple cream. And she's like telling the doctor like, oh look, she already has her nipple cream out. And I'm like, hell yeah I do because these babies I cherish for the last 25 years. So we're gonna try and keep my nipples on if that's cool with you. And it totally helped. Um, so the cream that I used was, I believe it was the Medela cream. And that's going to run you just under $10 for a uh, little, it's like the petroleum jelly kind of size. And those are going to run you under $12 or under $10. Um, but they last quite a long time because you don't need a lot. But those will definitely help. Um, they are safe for baby. They are safe for you. They are amazing because they keep it all moisturized. Um, another thing you might want is the breastfeeding pillow. So the pillow you put around right under your boobage area to uh, hold your newborn while you're feeding your baby. So that might be something that you really want. And those can run anywhere upwards of like $60 if you get like the French or Schmancy. But you can get them anywhere from a thrift store to mommy selling them online to Toys R Us, the cheaper ones. I got one for $15, I didn't love that one. And then I got one given to me. That one I liked a lot better because it was big, it had a pocket. Love that one. So. That one's going to run you about, I would say, $30. So you're going to want that too. Next is a few nursing bras. So if you're out and about and you want a nursing bra, the ones that just snap off and pull down and you could just put baby right on, those can run pretty high. So you can be spending upwards of $100, $200 on a nursing bra or you can go to Walmart, which is what I did because I knew my boob size was going to change and I spent like 20 bucks. So I only bought maybe two. And then I was using regular bras and tank tops while I was at home. So there's that cost. Nursing pads. 
And you get that thing is you put in your bra while you're out. And pretty much what that does is keeps you from leaking. So when you have leakage or letdown while you're feeding your baby on one side or just while you're out and you're like, oh my God, I'm about to have a letdown. And you have a letdown. Um, your shirt doesn't get completely soaked, which has happened to me before. And those are gonna run you about, I would say $6 for a box of them. You might want a couple bottles still. So I use Dr. Brown's bottles. For two of those bottles, it's around 20 bucks because even those one or two feeds could give your baby gas from a bottle. And if you're concerned about that, you might want something that's a little bit anti-colic or anti-gas. And uh, my favorite was the Dr. Brown's bottles, but any bottle you may want will run you about, you can do like a couple of the dollar store or you can go as expensive as getting like a brand name bottle for, a, you know, 20 bucks for a couple of them. And then the last thing you probably want while you're breastfeeding is a poncho. Um, I mean, I'm all for public breastfeeding and if nobody likes it, tough luck. But um, if you are somebody who likes to cover up or if your baby does better, um, you know, if you want your baby to nap while it's noisy and crowded and they're like hunter and they like to stare at everything. I loved having those ponchos just to calm him down. That may be something you want and those ponchos can run anywhere between like 15 and like 30 something dollars depending on how fancy schmancy you go. So um, that's pretty much the most of the costs associated with breastfeeding. Now um, next is going to be bottle feeding with a pump. So if you're someone who pumps or if you're in the states and after you go back to work you decide you want a pump, this is gonna be something that you obviously have to pay for. Um, so I'm gonna go into purchasing a pump because I know you can rent pumps, um, but I'm gonna go into the pump options I chose. So that might be something that you're interested in. So obviously the first thing you'll need are bottles, which again, run about $20 or $10 a piece if you want um, some better bottles. So it's up to you what kind of bottles you wanna get. If your baby has no gas and you wanna go with a cheaper bottle, that works too. But those bottles are going to be something that uh, you want to have around. And you're probably going to want about, uh, you're going to start with like 10. Maybe You're going to start with like 5 and then you're going to move up to like 10 or 15. Because trust me, it sucks to wash bottles. So you're probably going to have a lot of bottles lying around. Between the 4 ounces and the 8 ounce bottles, you're probably going to have quite a few. Um, the nipples, as you move up with nipple sizes, you're going to have to start purchasing those. So most of the bottles... All of the bottles come with number one nipples, but once you want to move to stage two and three, those are going to be something you're going to have to pay for, and those are about, I would say, $8 for a pack of two nipples um, for Dr. Brown. So I'm basing it on what I use. Dr. Brown's about 8 bucks for a pack of two. Um, the pump itself, you can go for a manual pump, which you're going to drive yourself nuts if you're full-time pumping with a manual pump. Some people like it. I mean, you can pump by hand, too. That's something you could do as well. That's free. Um, but if you want to pump... Uh, like a, a higher volume then you're going to want to go with something like an automatic pump um, and if you go with an automatic pump you're looking at anywhere from like two hundred dollars around that range um, i have a medela medela in style or freestyle in style it's a backpack um, that has the two pumps that was does it have the two pumps yes it has the two pumps so it has the two pumps and um it comes with like a couple extra things and I believe I paid like two something for that. Next you're going to want um, the flanges. So a lot of the flanges that come with the pumps are like little itty bitty flanges and they don't fit into the big ones, you know? So like it all depends on your nipple size. Uh, I had to move up with my pump so you might want to look into purchasing those and for... I think they I think they come with packs of two. It'd be ridiculous if they came in packs of one. But I'm pretty sure they come in packs of two. And I believe I paid just under ten dollars for two. So the problem is if you buy them and they don't fit, you can't return them. So you might wanna you know, if if it's something where you buy one and it doesn't fit, you're gonna have to go buy another one. Um, but there are ways to measure, there are tools online, so that's going to be something too. Um, storage. So you're going to have to buy the storage bags for your breast milk if you're pumping and storing in the freezer. Those are going to cost you about, I would say around um, six, seven dollars for a box of 50. You might want to uh, get a 
get a bottle warmer and that can cost you anywhere between probably around between 40 and 80 dollars and you're gonna have the nipple cream again um, the pads again because you might leak uh, the breastfeeding pillow you might have again because it might be easier I know for my husband it was easier to put hunter on the pillows and I already had them because I was breastfeeding so if you want to add that as well while you're bottle feeding or you happen to have one from when you were breastfeeding that might be another added cost. The last thing you're going to need are extra cleaning brushes. So the some of the bottles come with little cleaning brushes, but you might want a big cleaning brush. And those I bought from Walmart for, I bought the Munchkin ones for I think around like 6 or $10 a piece. And they lasted me quite a while. And lastly, you have formula feeding. So with formula feeding, you pretty much have um, all the bottles, the nipples. You're going to have the, um, what else are you going to have? You might still want the pillow. Sorry, my notes are down here. You might still want the pillow and then the extra nipples. So those costs are going to go into it, plus the cleaning brush. So I'm going to add those costs to it. And then, of course, on top of that, you're going to want the formula. So here's the thing with formula. I don't know if you've watched my video. I'm going to link it down below. And that is hip organic formula. Oh my god, I always preach about it. It's my favorite formula ever. I know this website sells it for about $36. If you're in the UK, you're going to spend a lot less if you're in Europe. But if you're in North America, you're looking at a little bit more plus shipping and handling. If you're going to go at a um, North American brand, store brand, you're going to be paying about $20. And then if you're going more into the uh, name brands, which keep in mind with formula, you're going to go through some different ones trying to see what your baby likes or your baby might just like the first one. but we had to go through a few and uh, until we found hip but you're looking at around mid 20s to 30s for a container of the 650 grams whereas the um, the ones uh, that I use the hip ones go anywhere there's a 600 gram and there's also an 800 gram with hunter I went through about a box when I was solely formula feeding and I wasn't on foods yet I was going through a box like once every two or three days which really adds up like no joke formula feeding is an investment it's a lot of money now that we've broken the costs all down we have i wonder if i could do this so we have breastfeeding bottle feeding and formula feeding so pumping and formula feeding so i've kind of ranked these in what costs the most and what costs the least so it's looking like breastfeeding is probably going to cost you the least um, followed by pumping followed by formula formula is definitely going to cost you the most because it is an ongoing cost rather than a one-time cost of just the pump which happens to be the most expensive thing as you're looking at um, the amount of time bottle feeding is probably the most kind of time consuming followed by formula feeding because you still have to um, you still have to wash all the bottles, which takes a lot of time and, and warm and everything like that. And then breastfeeding. And I thought breastfeeding was time consuming, but damn, it's not. <laughs> like, it, it takes absolutely no time when you start formula feeding and you see the difference. So guys, um, I hope I was able to kind of jump into something real quick and help you guys out with one more topic. It's been a slice, guys. Um, if you want to check out more videos, let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do. Uh, subscribe, like this video, and hopefully I get more time to kind of hang out with you guys. Um, so hopefully next week I can do some more videos on HIP Stage 2, because I know HIP got a lot of attention, and some other formulas that I have tried, and uh, kind of do an update on Hunter and him being almost a year old. Oh my god! Alright guys, it's been awesome. Have a great day. Bye!